ever going to go full variety when you when I retire? I could do variety, yeah. I mean, it, it's also hard because these tournaments are happening every month. So, like, as much as I'd like to take a break and just play Minecraft um, and speedrun and get, like, 25 minutes and just prove that, you know, I'm better than my son XQC, um, you know, their tournament's coming up with serious prize funds, so I, I can't really do that so, um, so easily. <laughs> But yeah, as much as as much as like I, I'd like to take some some breaks and do other stuff, it's not it's not kind of realistic at the moment because these tournaments have serious prize funds. You guys want to see me do well, and so um, so I, I am very serious still. Let's just castle into his whole attack. I'm not worried. Um, I'm gonna go G4, maybe attack him this way. As a 1300, should I focus more on puzzles or study grandmaster games? Um, if you're studying games where there is an explanation, like videos or in a book, like if there's an actual explanation, I think you should look at games. But if you're just talking about just running through games where you don't have a sort of an expert guiding you along, then I think it, puzzles are probably better. So it just, it depends. Let's go knight d4, hit the juicer on b5. At what age do I plan to retire? Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just loving playing chess, hoping it becomes an e4, just chilling. Now I can take with the a or the c pawn. I think here I actually take this way because I can use this open line for my rook. Or I can blunder a pawn. That's also good. Let's go here. Now the problem with taking with the pawn is that I give him a very safe center, which I can't really chip away because I have no pawns. I have no pawns in the center to attack his, his connect three here. I still should be doing well though. Let's just go rook here. Okay, now that feels like a bad, wait, isn't that a free juicer? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There are juicers hanging everywhere. Maybe I should have moved my knight first. This is a little bit unclear, but I think I'm still doing very well. So I can go here and I can go double, double down. Let's go here. Let's go here, hit the juicer, hit this right triangle. Everything's good. I can go here, I can go here, target. I can also try to make a grill at the end of the board. Once there are less pieces on the board, normally you want to try to make a queen. You want to use your pass pawns to your max advantage. But here I don't really have a good way to do that. Whatever, I'll just do it and just thematically try to prove it. Now I'm tired of answering questions about, um, about uh, the queen's gamut. Not really, it's a great show, it's fantastic. Time for the Wesley gun? Yeah, if I can create a Smith and Wesley gun here on the sixth rank, I, I would. How to avoid cheating with the computer if it becomes an eSport? I've spoken about this in depth. I think the biggest issue is the risk reward. This is what makes it very difficult. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's go here. One second. Takes, takes, takes here, here. Takes, I take. If here, I just move my king up and I just ignore him. Um, well, I think it's a risk reward thing, as I was saying. So it's like risk reward. It's like if you're if you're a top level, ch that's a great or is that a great move? No, that's an awful move. Um, he wants to go for shock mat. Let's take. I take with check because his king has to move. And now I eat this with check two, and now I should just be winning here, I think. I can go queen g7, is this a winning? Let's think about this. Here, 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 here. Here, here, he wait, sorry. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 it's maybe a draw. Um, hmm. I can also just go, wait, h7, d2? Wait a second. I don't know, I'm gonna go here. I'm way down on time, which I just realized. 
Um, why am I moving so slowly here? What am I? What am I? What am I doing? Why am I? I'm just moving like way too slowly. Oh, I slipped. I meant to go to G7. Oh, that was a slip. No, yeah, whatever. Okay, that was just a slip. Oh well, that's fine. Pull the pull the Magnus, yeah. I was trying to be too precise as well. Um, not a big deal. Let's go here. Let's go F4, Knight F3. Uh, so I need to be on chess.com. Sorry, my man, new to this, plus 45 bricklayer. Sorry. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. Chill. Relax. It's all good. Funny thing is that that actually was, um, I was, that was probably still even fine for me at the very end. If I check and go H7, we both get Queens. I don't think there was a checkmate. Um, let's just castle, go queen e1, queen h4 here. <laughs> I might have done it on purpose. Let's not make such assumptions. I'm, my name is not Ludwig. I don't do intentional throws for content. Um, I can play queen g3 next move. I can also just take and go here. I'd like to see Cargo fool Yasser in 30 years. Thank you, Big Rafter, for the five gifts. Thank you so much. I could have played E5 first. What am I eating? I'm eating a dossi. It's a Persian food. It's like uh, Persian stuff. It's um, it's lentils and, and potatoes. Go here, guard the juicer. Oh, and I'm playing against a Persian dude right now too, which is even funnier. Now I can move my bishop. I can also go for a double um, on the F file. It's not a great position. So I'm going to go here and here and try to line my knight up. Coach Mr. Beast, what did he tweet? Did he tweet something? Let's go knight e4. I will take with the rook. Go bishop e3. <clears throat> How many drinks before 1600 could beat me? I would have to be about to fall over and fall asleep. If I'm about to fall asleep, then yes, I, I 1600 could beat me. Okay, let's go b4, guard the bishop. I can just take. Um, I will just take the juicer. Let's go rook f4. Let's keep it rolling. The best chess boxer I think I can beat. I mean, I think like Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis was a very serious chess player. I think he was actually serious. Um, Klitschko brothers were very serious about... about um, about chess as well. Who else is there? I'm trying to think if there are any other prominent boxers who are big on chess. Um, I'm going to go maybe just here, hit the juicer, protect, guard, come in. Use my double stacked max effect. 
Yeah, you guys, I've I've had a I've had a conversation with Mr. Beast. That's that's what I'm gonna say. I, I'm aware, you guys. Let me see if he DM me. Actually, speaking of DMs, what is this? T Timur Rajabov sent me some DM too. What? Just take. Oh, let's go queen c6 here. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at my DMs and I see I see DM, I see a DM from Mr. Beast and a DM a DM from uh from um uh from uh one second, let's just take. Can I just take? Is there a checkmate? Yeah, I think there's just checkmate, right? Because I can take it's a very dirty checkmate. Okay, that's not concerning. Let's go here. I have a DM from from Nim also. I, I need to do something for Nim. Um Okay, let's keep going. But yeah, I, I had a conversation with Mr. Beats. That's all I'm gonna say, you guys. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna say anything else right now. How do you get in the viewer arena? You need to um, you need to be hit exclam club. Join the there will be a link. Join the club and then go to chess.com forward slash live, and um, you'll be able to play. And the great thing is this is a viewer arena. This is not like sub. So if you're just a viewer and you've played like ten games on chess.com, just sign up and do it. If you haven't, sign up, play ten games, and then you'll be able to play in the next viewer arena, which I'll be doing um, not not so not so long from now. I really do like viewer arenas a lot because it gives it gives the community a chance to play and you don't have to be a sub of the channel you don't have to be super serious pineapple shirt that would be coming back but the problem is it's getting really cold out here now so like when i start streaming early in the mornings so at like 7 38 or even when i drive drive here to the office um it's pretty cold so it just it doesn't feel great will i ever play among us i've played among us before um i might play a little bit House is no heat. Well, I mean, maybe the facility is heat, but I mean, I think it's an AC. So yeah, it's kind of kind of hard. Just castle here. Office, where are you streaming from? I am streaming from the TSM facility here in Los Angeles. Um, so I'm I'm at the TSM facility because I am a member of TSM. Um, and frankly, for these tournaments, the the um, the uh, the connection here, you know, it's one one gig up, one gig down, and um, it's really good. Yeah, it's warm in LA, but I mean, like in the mornings, it's very cold. Like at like seven a.m., it's 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 very cold. Confined to the uh, facility? No, I'm not. I thought you were in Florida. I I still have a house in Florida, but you know, there's so much going on with chess, with it becoming an esport, and all these other things that um that I'm in California for the for the foreseeable future, um definitely. I'll be in California for the next 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 year, definitely. Just trade. Let's go here. Oh, sorry, pineapple shirt. You meant this dude. I didn't realize you were talking about my opponent. Let's go here. Do I think chess and esport would damage classical chess? I think classical chess is already damaged. I mean, what, what what do you want me to say? Like classical chess, there's there's a place and time for it. But um, I should have put the rook on d7 right away, not d8. But um. But like when you watch these games where there are a lot of mistakes, there's a lot of drama, the stakes are high. That's what makes chess exciting. When you when you have a game where, where there are very few mistakes and it's so minute and, and games end in draws, it's just that's not attractive. I mean, do you want chess to be something where people where a lot of people can earn a living or something where only a handful of people can earn a living? Um When is the next Pog Champs? I am not at liberty to talk about that right now, but it's coming up. It's coming up. Yeah, six hours just to draw. I mean, classical chess will always have a place in time. Make no mistake. Um, I'm going to go queen c4 here. Start to infiltrate with my rook. Um, let's go here. I'm going to try to create a pass pawn on the, on the queen side. It's a story of cricket. Yeah, I mean, I think I think chess, like classical chess is, is I mean, very much like cricket. I, I couldn't agree more. Let's just go here. Let's do a tickle tickle. And now I'm going to go down. No, rules are the same in classical chess, but the thing is games generally end in a draw because you see a lot less mistakes from the players. 
Okay, I go here, hit the pawn, I push, I come up, I start eating his juicers. Why doesn't Fabiano participate? I mean, I think I think Fabiano for him, classical chess is his, his bread and butter, um, which is totally understandable. I'm gonna go here, 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 here. I think my pawn is too fast. I have a two. Oh, or not? What is going on? Okay, let's go again. <clears throat> so, uh, what was I saying exactly? Uh, I was saying something. Let's go here, maybe d6, maybe knight f6 castles. Oh, right, I was talking about Fabiano, right? Go here. Um, thank you to Hannes for the Prime. Thank you to Nightwind Archer for the Tier One. Thank you so much. Thank you to DJ Strakat for the Prime Cable for the for the uh, Tier One. Thank you Claude Kusman for the Prime. DT Gaz for the Prime. Anchalone for the Prime. Rocky the Bear for the Prime. Thank you Tarkil for the three months. Thank you to um, Dana King three ninety two for the three months. Guarnarius for the Prime. Dados for the five. Thank you to Aik Mason for the two. High Roller for the nineteen. Chris Metzky for the four. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so this is the King's Indian opening. This is also called the Mar del Plata variation, named after the city in uh, Argentina. It's a very sharp opening. I actually have played one of my best games of all time was in this in this variation against Wesley So uh, in the Sinkfield Cup in St. Louis, Missouri in 2015. Thank you to Arc X Dark Penance for the Prime, JW Bender with the Prime, King Speed with the Prime. Thank you so much. So this is one of my favorite variations. Very sharp, very aggressive. You try to play, you know, a game of Connect Four and Connect Five, and whoever's Whoever's Connect 4 is stronger wins the game eventually. So we just go here. G4, G3. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Okay, let's just go for it. I don't know if this is good. I should have played Queen B8, actually. Whoa, this is very bad. Let's just go all in. I'm just gonna sauce him. The weird thing about this position is his connect four is very stable and his knight kind of holds all his glue together. Uh, um, what was it? Sorry, yeah. Uh, thank you to Ted Derby. Thank you for the whip for the prime, appreciate it. Yeah, this is like connect four. He's got a connect four, but his king is very loose. And someone asked, do I get tired of chess? Not really. I mean, I think because of how, how much time I spent on it, how good I am, how much you can do in terms of content for bringing it to people out there. Uh, to me, I, I don't really get tired because I just think of the number, the, the people who watch it and um, and it's just, it's uh, it's humbling. It, it really is. Thank you to um, Chessbender for the 21 months. Thank you, appreciate it. So yeah, to me, like it, it's you know, it's not, it's not, even, it's not really, it's, it's not about flexing. It's just, um, I just really think the game is fascinating, and, and when you can bring it to so many people, I think that's that's what counts. Now, I did have some burnouts. If you guys are asking me as a, as a professional player if I had burnouts, I did have two burnouts. I had a burnout um, when I went to college when I was 18 years old, I believe it was. No, 92 is not checkmate because um, he could have just recaptured. His his op from distance holds the juicer square. Okay, now this is obviously winning, but I have to be a little bit careful with how I play this, but this should be pretty clean. But I had a burnout when I was 18, because I just, I, I played so much chess, I wasn't really improving the way that I was hoping to improve. Um, so that was the first time that I had a burnout. I had burnout issues. Um, 
Uh, and I, I think I had another burnout, maybe around the time it was like 23 or so, maybe. I, I've had a couple of burnouts. Your shoulders look up, it gets you tense. Let's be all proper. Let's go here. Go here. I thought I had Rook C2, but actually I do have Rook C2 because, oh, is this a really saucy, uh, there's a checkmate, but I'm gonna go Rook C2. I threatened checkmate when he recaptures, I actually made him on the diagonal. This is kind of rude of me to do it. Just go here. Just trade the queen. This is a myth hoodie, by the way. This is a TSM myth hoodie. Uh, you can find it in the TSM store. How do I spot questions in chat? Um, I don't exactly. Someone said Leffen. Was Leffen ranting or something? My screen is too low. What do you mean my screen is too low? <laughs> um, new merch, maybe. Maybe we'll see. Um, someone said Leffen. Was, was Leffen ranting about chess earlier? I, I saw some people saying something, but I, I don't know what he was saying exactly. Um, Let's go D4. Oh, he wants to play chess with me? Oh, totally, yeah. Screen is too low because you hunched down. Okay, uh, let's let's play with my desk. Okay, how's this? How's this? Okay, how's this? I just moved my desk up. Is this better? <laughs> I have to be careful because if, if I move it too high and try to go standing desk, then it's going to fall. I don't know. Is that better, you guys, or not? I don't know. Is that better? Or it's, too, it's too. It's it feels too high. Yeah, it feels too high. Let's go here. I mean, I just have bad posture. I don't know what the desk is. I know it's like seventy six point nine. It's got like one, two, three, four, and it's got it's got an S button and it's got an up arrow and a down arrow. So I don't know what that means. You guys can tell me. Um, but yeah. This isn't my desk. This is a t the TSM. Is, I'm at the TSM facility, so I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'll do something with Leffen. Yeah. Totally. Later? Oh man, I don't. I don't know how. I mean, maybe, maybe. Let me think. Uh, maybe I'll send him a DM. Let, let me think. Let's go here. Let's open it up. Have I had my T3 done in 2015? Sorry, what? What do you mean by that? Um, yeah, I'm at the TSM facility. Do I know Bolo? No, I've raided him a couple of times. I think the whole Rainbow Six team is in, um, they're in, uh, oh, let's go for this. This looks really delicious. Check. Oh no, he can run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was moronic of me. Oh, that was very stupid of me. Let's castle. No, but the, the whole Rainbow Six team is in Vegas, I believe. So no, I, I haven't. I'm just gonna blast the center because basically his king is uncastled again. I'm gonna just go go for hero moves here. Let's just take. If takes, I just take with the knight. Uh, I just blundered again. Jeez, what am I even doing this game? Gross. Can't I check? Wait. I guess I check. He can't take these pin this way. So he takes and I recapture with my queen and I'm hitting everything. Max pressure up the up the up the gut here. Am I gonna do a collab with Myth? I totally would, yeah, absolutely. I can't see the board? What do you mean? Oh, you can't see the boards of all my arrows? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's eat the juicer. A lot of threats here. Look at my, look at his king. His king is very open here. Um, this is the first time I'm watching a professional chess player streaming. Do they all talk? Do, do they all talk so, um, 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 uh, do they all talk so chill or is it just me? 
I think I think chess players are pretty chill in general. I think so. Yeah. Wesley's post match interview was so wholesome. Uh, I didn't I didn't actually see it, but one second. Let's go. Hmm. Where's the win? There should be a win here. Um, let's just take and go check. I don't know if it's good, but it looks reasonable. Wait, why did I, wait. Wait, why did I do that? Hmm. Should be winning. Uh, I just realized I blundered again, though. So check. <clears throat> Go here, just take. Now I go h7, and this should just be winning here. Let's go king's two. Queen g7 was winning. No, I mean, I must have been winning multiple ways there, but um, let's just create a space for my king. I just tuck my king away, and now I just make a queen. <gasps> oh, queen f7 was made? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not good. Magnus effect, yeah, yeah, that I just missed the mate in one, totally. Let's go d4, let's play knight f3 next move. You DM Leffen, I will definitely do something with Leffen, yeah, 100%. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send him a DM, yeah, let's just castle. Is he streaming right now or not? Queen's two. Am I gonna open the vods? I I want to. I mean, I want I want I want to open the vods, but the, I mean the problem is DMCA. Like nobody really knows what's going on with DMCA, do they? I mean that's the problem. Like, does anyone really know what's going on? Seriously, does any anybody really know? Let's just take with the bishop. Let's go c5 and knight b5. I guess I'll just go, yeah, I'm just gonna go here and go here and go rook c1 and max pressure. Let's go, uh, let's go here, put this rook. Go g4, which I think is a mistake, so I go here. And now my knight gets all up in his business and I should be winning. Maybe winning's too strong of a word to use, but I'm definitely in good shape now. So he tries to ignore, I can just go here, I guess, and just take. Since I started watching your stuff on YouTube, my rating increased by almost 400 points. Nice, very nice. But yeah, as far as far as as far as as far as vods go, I mean, I just I don't know I don't know exactly what the situation is um, uh, with with the MCA. That's the, that's the main that's the main reason that I, I don't open them. And I want to. I, I I think originally I said I was going to open them at um one second. Let me not get shock modded here by my opponent. Let's just go back. Just tidy up my king side here. Um, originally, I think what I said is I said I was gonna I was gonna open them at um, at like 250k or something, whatever it was, and um, and I want to. And then DMCA hit like hit like right as I was about to hit 250. It hit like three or four days I think before I hit 250, and it's like, well, okay, I guess I, I guess I can't do that now. Um, so yeah, if the check is done by Twitch, protecting your VOD through sub only isn't gonna work. I had unlisted videos flagged on YouTube. I haven't had anything happen yet, so that's that's the basis of basis of what, what I'm what I'm doing. By the way, my king is very safe now. Look at look at all these pawns. Everything is so secure, safe, and sound. He has no way to attack my king. It's just very neatly tucked away here. It's like it's snug as a bug in a rug. Snug as a bug in a, yes. It's a, my king is a, as snug as a bug in a rug. Okay. Gave the queen up like that. Yeah, because my opponent doesn't have any way to attack me. That's why. 
I'm just gonna go here and probably like rook b8. My king is just so safe. I just take, let's take, let's go here. I'm gonna go check. And now my, my rooks are coming in. My king looks like it's in bad shape, but he has no way to touch my king because it's protected by all the pawns here. All these pawns keep my king very safe in the corner. He only has a queen of bishop. My rooks are active. My bishop is active. It's all really, really bad. Let's just go here, target the juicer. I had meat in three last game. Yes, I know I missed a checkmate. This guy is 2086. Okay, let's play the Scandinavian or center counter. Number 13 and 21. Um, what does it mean? Uh, it means that's my standing right now. I'm not actually not at the top, so you don't see my ranking because I'm not racking up the wins quick enough, but it's still all good. Let's go here, maybe knight d7. When did I became, become a GM? I became a GM um, at the age of 15. I guess already that's like nearly 18, 18 years ago. Holy sh... Wow. Jeez, that's like 18 years ago I became a GM almost. That's insane. Jeez, that's insane. That's insane. So I've been a grandmaster more, for more than half my life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're an adult now, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What is my goal by the end of next year? Um, I, I mean, I, I hope to have like, it would be nice if I have a million followers. So I think that's a goal by the end of next year. Let's play f five bishop f six. Ali, Ali Reza was not born, I don't think. When I became a GM, I don't think he'd been born yet. Um, so people started calling you sir at the age of 15. Not exactly. That's not how it works. Uh, let's just uh, go for the good old forky fork here with knight c3. No, I mean, it, it, chess is not one of those things where it's like you become the title and like everyone like bows like, sir, yes, sir. That's not how chess works. I'm sorry. That's just not how it works. That would be way too elitist, honestly. Let's go knight g4. <laughs> Your lordship, right. Let's take the take there. Uh, let's go queen d7, queen g4. Yeah. Um, let's just take and take. Here's your apple juice, Grandmaster. Right. <laughs> Let's go here. <laughs> People have more manners in chess and other competitive sports games. I think that probably is true. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty pretty fair. Yeah. Let's go here. Let's just take the juicer. We're almost in the top. We're almost to number number three. So let's just keep going. Who did I beat or tie with to become a GM? I I um I think I made I beat uh the international master Michael Mollier. We played uh I think it was round I think it was round nine of the Bermuda tournament in two thousand three. We played this like very strange night orf. I think I won three in a row at the end to get the norm. So it, was, it wasn't it wasn't guaranteed or smooth. I had to win three in a row at the end to get get the GM title. Oh, it's my move. Whoops, let's just castle. Do I introduce myself as Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura? No, I just, I'm Hikaru. I mean, ego much? I mean, seriously. Just because I'm a Grandmaster at chess doesn't mean I'm some kind of genius. That's just, that's just weird. I mean, you have like you have mental problems if you if you if that if you need to do that. Let's go a five here. I mean, that's like as that's, that's like big ego issues. Okay, let's go. I'm actually playing this game very poorly, by the way. So give me a second. This game I'm playing really really poorly. Let's go here. Maybe I'll go F4. F4 at some moment. Well, let's go here and sack maybe. His knight's under attack, I just realized. So I'm gonna sack some material here. 
Okay, plays queen d6. It's probably a very logical move. Okay, just go here and take, maybe? Maybe bishop f6 was better. I don't know. Let's go here. Rotate the horse to c5. And all is looking relatively okay. Not great, but relatively speaking, it should be fine. There's a YouTube video where I did that. Oh, that's probably because they were asking what your name and title is, I bet. I bet that's that's why. Just go here, maybe rook c6, maybe bishop c5. I think I actually want to line it up like this and target his king here. Just go here. I had knight f4. Who's my teacher? Um, well, my stepfather was my first coach. Uh, he's a fide master at chess. Okay, I go. One second, let's see. Okay, I go here, d6, I block. And now I think I'm doing very, very well. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, C9 Apple Juice. Thank you to Gotham Rules for the tier one. Sean 415, tier one. Toby Mine with the Prime. Thank you to Dilla Donatus for the Prime. Thank you to Little Grom with the Prime. Thank you to Jake C5151 for the two. Thank you to InStyle for the two. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm sorry, but like, let's be serious. We're, we're good at chess. We're not, we're not geniuses. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. That's absurd. What is this move? Okay, I can. I guess I take. This is actually kind of weird. This is very weird. What's going on? I don't have b3. If I take. This is very, very weird. What is this? Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna take. Oh, but this doesn't. Oh, why did I. This actually doesn't even work. I. Well. Go here, I have b3 next move. Rook b5, I think I'm just fine. My king's in. Oh, now, now my, my king's too far. Ugh. I mean, this probably is no good, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay, ignores it. Because now I have f3, h3 to break through. Wait, there should be some way to win. Wait a second, there's gotta be some way to win here. Wait, g3? I push, he takes, I push. E3. Oh, uh, wait, this should be winning. Takes, I push. I'm trying to make a grill here. He's got to take, I take. I think it's too many pawns. It's too many fast pawns. He's got to go back to stop me because otherwise I cover all his squares. And he can't stop three pawns. He can stop two, but not three. Yeah, like I'm, I'm making, there are just too many pawns. Bishop can't, can't stop three. Okay, let's keep going. Finally, we're up to number seven. Slowly climbing the leaderboard. Let's, uh, let's play the Portuguese variation of the Scandinavian. So the Portuguese is a gambit. You play knight f6, you don't take this pawn right away. Let's go here. Can I talk more about GM norms? It's just um, you have to have certain performances over the course of various tournaments. When I had burnouts, my burnout during college was six months. Like I, um, I took six months off. I went to college. I was just sick of the game of chess. I was sick of traveling. I wasn't improving and I just, I, I'd had enough. Um, so it was like six months and I came back and played a tournament and, um, wait a second. Can I just take and take and go here and trap? Oh, he can take, but I take and I take and he's losing juicers everywhere. So it was six months. I, I, I was away. And then over Thanksgiving, I think this was 2008 or no, 2006. I played a tournament in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, um, in that, you know, that place where bad things happen. Um, I played a tournament in, in Philadelphia with basically no, no real preparations. I just decided to play a tournament over Thanksgiving, and um, I actually won that tournament. I, I think I... Oh, I missed this. Ah. Mm. 
Ugh, this is gross. Let's go here, I guess. Let's drop back. I don't even know why I did this. Okay, but now he blunders, actually. That's a mistake, I think. That's a big mistake, because now my pawns go. Like, the only thing that I have here going for me is that I can run these juicers down the board. Like, I just want to go here, 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 make a grill, and win the game. Plain and simple. So, yeah, so I played um, I played a tournament in Philadelphia, basically with very little preparation, very little training, and I won the tournament. I scored five and a half points out of six. I won five, drew one game. Let's just go. Oh, uh, he could have taken. Yikes. Okay, um... Now, do I push the pawn or do I trade is the question here. I think I just take and go here and here. Go here and rook b1. So, yeah, I, I and I, I should have won the one game I drew. I played against this Georgia Grandmaster, Zviad Azoria, and we reached, um, we reached like, this, this end game. I don't remember what it was, and I should have won, but I, I drew the game. At any rate, I won the tournament, and um, I kind of realized after that that, like, I mean, I, I, I really still love the game. How old was I? I was 18. Or maybe... No, I was 18 still. Do I think playing lower-ranked players helps? Um, I mean, not specifically, no. But, I mean, I don't do it all the time. And it's it's fun. Like, I like to give back to you guys. There, there's, a, there's like, an in-between balance. So, um, you know, it's, it's all relative. Imagine chess commentators in two years if it becomes an eSport. Yeah, Magnus just played the reverse Smith and Wesley. The response was making a grill. I mean, hey, XQC started the trend. I mean, we just you just go with the trend. The trend is your friend, as they say. A Smith and Wesley is hilarious. So that that that's really really funny. The Smith and Wesley. <laughs> that's really really good. Really really good one. What is this image? What is this? <laughs> Sorry, let me change. <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> okay, that is classic. Classic. Let's just castle here. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna go G4 and F5 here. It is sideways, though. That's the whole point, you guys. It's like the queen, the rook, and the rook. It is sideways. Oh, sorry. I'm on the wrong scene still. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, you guys. The gun is sideways, though, you guys. Um, uh, I guess I'll take this way so I can I can really open up the king side. Let's go here. I could have blocked, too, but it's still I'm still up a juicer here. What was I going to study in college? I was going to study um, political science. I'm glad I didn't. Like That would have been the worst decision of my life. Politics is stupid. Um, can anyone fill me in on the Smith and Wesley? It's a it's a play on Smith and Wesson, which is a gum company, obviously. But the way Wesley set up set it up was he tripled uh, queen and two rooks on the same line, and that used to be called Aliekin's uh, Aliekin's uh, gun in the old days. But now it's called um, now it's called the Smith and Wesley. Just take. Let's go here. Hit the juicer. Everything's everything's looking really really good for me at this point. Uh, if e7 with the fossil, he blocks with the queen. I had this to try and fossilize the queen, but he blocks with the queen. Um, just take, just take. Let's just take. Thank you to uh, Niffy, Niffy Ben. Thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Um, let's just go here and let's just eat all the juicers. Problem here is for my opponent that everything is guarded. So I just have two connected and they just go right up the board and there's nothing my opponent can do to stop them because they just escort each other. I just keep going and now I just use this one support just go here this is step one
Now I'm gonna just do a staircase so you guys see how to win. So I go here, this is step one. Um, let's just go here for posterity. Let's go check. And now I just push the juicer. I'm one square away now, and I'm just gonna go uno, dos, tres, and just make it make it grill. Step one, step two, go here. Now we go check. And now I just go to the back rank and the rook guards, the pawn supports the other pawn and it's just game over. When did I start learning chess? I started when I was seven years old. Let's just go here. And now I just bring, I just trade. I'm sorry, man. I can't give you a draw. I got to win the game. Whoa, he, oh, he almost had a weird stalemate possibility. Okay, so I'll show you guys. Now we make the L, okay? So I'll show you guys how to make the L. So now I wait. Now I keep moving over, cut him off, cut him off, there, 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 and there. And we keep going. I saw Mr. Be this, Mr. Beast's tweet, you guys. I, I had a couple DMs with him, so don't worry. I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware. Let's go here and F4. Teaching pre-moves, yeah. <laughs> Let's go A4, maybe E5 next move. It's all, all pretty good here. Let's go back. Yeah, he almost had a weird stalemate where he could have not taken my king and run his king to the corner. Now, this is a line, you guys, again, I studied this back first time, 1999, um, during the World Youth Chess Championship in uh, in um, Oro Pesa del Mar in, in España. And uh, I was studying this for a game I had against the English junior player, Gawain Jones. He would go on to become a grandmaster as well. I studied this with my stepfather in a very rudimentary, rudimentary version of chess base at the time. Just take and take. Everything seems so easy with you playing. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I know you guys. I'm, I'm aware of that. Um, right, this guy's, we've had some duels in this opening before, I know. Uh, he's gonna take and I take and he goes here here. We've had we had quite a few duels in this line, but I think it's always I've always been winning Right now if I take it's bad right this is his weird line that I know this dude likes let's go here I just don't believe in this. I don't think it can possibly good. I'd be good. I'll just go here and just castle How old are you, you look 28, but you talk about studying in 1856 yeah, so it was a cold. It was it, uh, um, it was a cold winter day in 1856. I was writing in my book, my journal, by the candlelight after studying on my wooden chessboard. Um, all right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Rook B1 and trade. Um, <laughs> yeah. We need more people like you in the world. Thank you, thank you to Mr. Sweeter for the three dollars. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a frigid winter eve. The candle dripping, white blubber smelled acid. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. Um, I'm up a juicer here, so I'm doing pretty well. Let's go. I can go here, I think, to fix the fix the fix the bishop, and then I push here and create a nice pawn chain of two. Let's go here, maybe just here. Again, the pawns are really juicy. They support each other, it supports the horse. And you see I have one, two, three, four, five. My opponent has one, two, three, four, so I'm just one extra. So now that I have one extra, I'm, I'm willing to trade off like my, my bishops, my horses, my rooks, everything. Because I, I, I'm up by one pawn. I knew I knew there was gonna be more to it. I knew that wasn't it. Um, no, I don't. Th I, th I don't think I've ever felt like I'm better than everyone. But I, I, I've always I've always like used like sort of trying to get good or trying to believe in myself and blitz to um to keep improving. Let's go here. Put pressure on the pawn. Hikaru, why didn't you invest in Standard Oil when you had the chance? Actually, speaking of Standard Oil, you guys, um, very recently, the I mean, uh, the Rockefellers and Sun Foundation, I think they donated $3 million to the United States Chess Federation. 
Um, so big, big shout out to them for that. Um, as far as why I didn't invest in Standard Oil, um, I'm, I'm afraid that, you know, I spoke to I spoke to Mr. Flagler in like 1900. He thought that it was a good company. He was really in, interested in it. He was into it. But unfortunately for me, like I just I, 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 I didn't really agree with Mr. Flagler. And I thought I thought I could do better elsewhere. Let's play. Um, do I have 94 here? Not maybe I'll just go 96 here. Can I check first place? It's got 43 points now. It's all good. Let's go check. Of course, classic right triangle. And I just win the game. Let's just take. I also win this now. Uh, total disaster for my opponent. Complete disaster. Just go here. I can just take. Keep going. Okay, we're up to number three. We still have like an hour to go. Oh, we're playing Krikor. So this, you guys, is Krikor Mekatarian, the Brazilian Grandmaster. Uh, he is also a streamer, so make sure to check out his channel if you haven't already. Um, he, he streams in, I think he streams in English also, but he is a Brazilian. As you guys know, Brazilians, they go crazy for their stars. Whether it's chess, excuse me, whether it's chess, whether it's football, um, or whether it's tennis, they, they go crazy. So big shout out to Krikor. Make sure to check out his channel if you have a chance too. Let's take, let's go here, hit the juicer. I don't know why I did that. That's actually a bad move. I forgot this is Krikor. He's he's legitimately good. I can't cheese him with some bunky bunk tricks. Not smart. Okay, let's just go. I think I'm gonna go here. Maybe hit the queen. I feel like I should have some tricks here, like c5, but I don't see it, so I'm just gonna play rook d8. Okay, go g4, so I can obviously trade. I think I just trade and go back and hit the pawns. I also have c5. Oh, but I just blundered. I just blundered a chop. Or no, I didn't blunder, because if he takes, I take, check, I go over, and then I trap his horse. Doesn't work. Wow. Wow. Okay, so he goes 92. I will trade. Um, I think I can go bishop h6. I can also play c5. I'm going to play here and chip his structure first. Let's go here. Force a trade of the bishops. Thank you to Rocky for the prime. And thank you to Stein's reader for the prime as well. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Let's drop the horses back. My horses are better than his, his knight because his knight doesn't really have the scope that he wants. Thank you, Zandras. Um, let's go knight c6, maybe. Actually, speaking of German, I saw that Papa Plata was interested in Pog Champs 3 as well, which was really nice to see. He was in the original Pog Champs, of course. Uh, really, really, really exciting to um, to, to see him in, in that event and doing really well. So hopefully we'll have a chance for him to come back in Pog Champs 3. Let's go knight e7. Knight f7, maybe knight g5. Actually, I don't know why I did that. That was a bad move. Um, it's actually quite dangerous. Let's go here. I guess if rook c2, I have knight c he blunders though, because now I do the double fork. Thank you to Aronetsu for the prime. Thank you to Christoph Casimir with the prime, and knight was here with the tier one. Actually, this is not clear cut at all now that I look at it. Quite dangerous. I think Rickcore is completely fine here. He plays correctly. Okay, let's figure out how. I can also go here. I think I'm going to go here to confuse matters, to jump with my knight every which way, to try and just make things really weird. He goes h4. I can play rook f8 here. Um, let's just do it. it. I don't know. I don't know if this is good, but it looks like a game. Let's go here. Let's go here. Do I know about XQC and Pog Champs 3, what it means? I don't I don't know if XQC will be in Pog Champs 3. Remember HBOM on AIM in early 2000s? That was never my username on AIM. My, my username was Mithrandir. Um, so, no, that wasn't me. Sorry. Thank you to North Face Tiger for the two months again. Thank you. I think I might have thanked you already, but thanks. Yeah, my, my username on AIM was, uh, it was Mithrandir3797. So it was Mithrandir for, for obviously because that was his real name. His real name was not Gandalf. Um... 
So I had Mithrandir and I had 3797 because, of course, those, those of you who are aware, uh, the, the world is supposed to end in the year 3797, as foretold by Nostradamus. Um, let's just take the pawn and take the pawn on b5 next move. Because the knight is a horse in every language except for American. Most of the world doesn't speak American like the rest of us. Let's play h5 and king h6 here. Um, and I just take the pawn next move. Oh, in German, it's like the fit. It's, 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 it's jumper, right? That's true. Let's go g6. Okay, we're playing madman again. I do want to win this game. Um, let's go here and here. Just take and go here, here, here. In German, it is a jumper. Okay, fair enough. Let's go here. If H4, I just go H5. Okay, let's go here. This actually, I think, is quite dangerous for my opponent. Like, let's go back. Actually, I had this against another streamer. I had this against Blitzstream um, some time ago in, in, like, I think a title Tuesday. I think I lost to Blitzstream in this opening. The Magnus uh, Tour is two days. So tomorrow's the final, you guys. The coverage will begin at um, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9, 9 a.m. Pacific time. So it's going to be it's gonna be a, a rock and, rock and rolling um, uh, Sunday final. Let's go. I think I go here. I also can go. I'm going to go here. Go, oh, called your yes, then your no. Oh, whoa, whoa, look out, look out, a world. Whoa, this is dangerous. This is a bit much for my opponent. He's going to get um, something really bad is going to happen to my opponent here on this open line. I guess I'll take with the queen. I don't have to, but it makes sense. And I've got like, I'll go here. So yeah, so tomorrow we have the grand final. So it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Um, I guess I'll go. I guess I have chief. I mean, I also have rook a8. I'm gonna go g4 and just queen g5 and knight d5. Let's go here. Line it up. I have this. I have this. Okay, so I can play rook a8. I can also go knight d5 here. Knight d5. So I have rook a8, and I think I'm doing really, really well. They had Aramanov for the prime. They had a kid, uh, kid goblin for the prime. They had a Heyman for the three months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What are Wesley's odds? I mean, obviously, with less games, he, his odds improve a lot. Um, so I don't know what I would say his exact odds are, but I think he's in, he's in, he's, he's got a chance. He's, you know, it's like a chip in a chair. He has his chances. I don't know why I did this. I just blundered again. I guess I go here. Oh, I just blundered again. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. I just blundered again. Wow. Really, really poor. He blunders finally. Down. Uh, what is this? I just wow. Somehow, I... what? How does this hold? This is crazy. Wow, this is insane. I can also play. Um, go here. 
Ah, Shaq and now I win. I didn't queen because he had a check, and this just wins. Let's keep going. Let's go knight f3, let's just take. Actually, let's play d4, e5, maybe simpler. What time do I play photo save in the SEC? I don't know right off. Um, I'm not 100% sure, actually. Let's go here, maybe C3 next move. How do I pull the win there? I mean, sometimes I get lucky. Oops. I mean, all there is to it. Let's go here, if takes, I go Rook B1. Oh, this guy is, whoa, this guy's 2600, geez. Let's go Rook B1. Hmm. So I'll play A3 to stop Knight B4. Go here, target the juicer. I guess I take, yeah, I guess I just take and go here. Target the pawn, I have knight f4, knight c3, multiple options. Let's go here, knight f4, maybe knight c3. Okay, goes rook e8, let's play knight c3, hit the juicer. I'm gonna play g4, line up this, this attack now. 97 is a good move. Let's go. I'm gonna go here. <coughs> maybe bishop b5, maybe g5 at some moment. I like my position. They had a crypto walnut for the prime thing. LeBron's with the prime. No, I'm sorry, dude. No draws. No uh, draws. Nyet. Nyet. Okay, now I'm going to go rookie one and line up max pressure against his knight. Um, that doesn't look right because he can't really move the knight. His rooks are tied up in knots here. It goes rook c7. I can make a check. Maybe queen d6. Um, this looks winning because I'm hitting everything. Queen also holds everything. It's like, this is a pyramid of, of Giza. Um, goes there. I can go either way. I think I go here, line this up. I still guard this. I guard this. I guard this. He's got no tricks. Um, everything is hanging here. Okay, I think I just take with the bishop. I hit the rook. He's got no queen moves because I just take that. If he takes this, I think I go check. Should be winning. Have I ever been to Egypt? No, I've never been to Egypt. No, I'm sorry, dude. That's not going to cut it. All right, I'm going to run to the restroom, and I'll be right back. Okay, he goes bishop d8. This looks really bad somehow, but I, I don't know how to punish it, so I'm going to go d5 here. Now, if he goes d6, I'm going to go bishop b5 check. And if he blocks, I just take. His whole position is kind of crumbling like a cookie. And now if he takes, I just take, and this is really bad. If takes, I just take. Is there a checkmate here? Wait a second. Oh, but he can block with the queen. That was really stupid of me. And it's still probably winning, but this isn't really what I wanted. Just take, I hit the knight, I hit the bishop. Everything's collapsing here. Whoa, thank you to Pass Pawn for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Pass Pawn. Thank you, or the 10 gifted subs, sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you to Shosti for the three months as well. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Okay, I can just take the juicer and just go 92. And I guard this. I cover the check. I keep my horses in play. And this is just GG's. Okay, everything's winning here. But I'm going to go knight c3. If he takes, I take. And then he no longer can move his queen. Let's just go here. Okay, now I just take back. Um, everything is winning here. I'll just play Rook D1. Scandinavian's not a great opening, but it's playable. Thank you to Nikki G73 for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 
Do I get annoyed when fans ask for autograph? No, I mean, I think I'm, I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. Um, so getting annoyed if someone someone else like is, draws inspiration from your games or from what you're doing, um, and getting annoyed, I think it's just ridiculous. Especially because in most cases, like when it comes to chess tournaments, people have traveled long distances. It's not like they're in that little small shanty town for that, you know, just randomly. They're usually there because they've traveled a long distance. Thank you to Benadryls for the uh, gifted sub. Thank you so much. Don't I have something? This is not right. Um, I don't know what the... I don't actually know what the move is, so I'll just take with the night. Shantytown? Yeah, I mean, like, there's this town in uh, the Netherlands called Vikonze. I mean, Shantytown's... <laughs> okay, that's that's uh, that's probably not quite correct, but um, but anyway, you know, it's like in the middle of nowhere, kind of. So, um, so uh, yeah, shanty town is your shanty town. You're right. That's a little bit much. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go here. Um, but um, uh, I'll try to. If I have an opportunity, I will. The problem is most of these guys I'm playing are pretty high ranked. Um, thank you to Oli Shore for the prime. Uh, thank you to Dramatic Junior for the ten. But anyway, people travel long distance usually. They're not in the. They're not in these towns. So when they travel long distance, if they do it within reason, then it's then yeah, I, I never get annoyed. Vicon Zay misses you, bro. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? How's it going, Benjamin? Hope all is well. Okay, trying to go to she five. I think I'll just take. Do I go rook d4? Yeah, I think I'll do this double stack because he can't go rook d1 because of bishop d3. So it should just be really, really good for me. Okay, that's a good move. Uh, if I double, he, maybe I, I guess I'll go a5 just to soften all his pawns up here. Why do top players never play the Evans game? That's actually tricky. Wait, this is really tricky. Maybe I, I should have just gone Bishop B3 right away and then A4 because I could have stopped him from trading rooks. Okay, but now I still go here and trade. His pawns are a little bit extended here, but it's not clear cut if I'm better. Um, I think I'm going to just try to win this juicer maybe because then this one's fast for getting down the board. Evans Gambit, I think the main reason is, um, I think it's just because it's it's not a great winning attempt. It's it's actually not losing, but at the top levels, it's hard to win with it. It just ends up being equal. Yeah, favorite Gambit, I'll try. I'll try. Coronavirus killed classical chess. I mean, classical chess has been dying for a long time. Um, so in many ways, you could say it's a good thing because it's kind of forced us to move forward and, and adapt instead of being stuck in the old world. But I mean, the future, the future definitely is, is internet. Uh, wait, actually, this is a nice tickle wrinkle or no, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice tickle wrinkle because he, he, if he goes back, I take, whereas if I take right away, he has rook before rook a seven ideas. So it's a good win. Go e4, maybe knight c3. Get me wrong. This guy's 2282. Okay, I'll just play some moderated King Bond Cloud. Let's go King e2. Whoa, thank you to Fart Boner for the five gifted subs. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's kind of to take. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, let's just take the bishop. <laughs> I'm going to go here and line this up. Weirdly, as bad as this looks, it's actually not that bad, I don't think. Is it disrespectful to your opponent to play the Blanc Cloud? Sometimes. It depends. <laughs> okay, he goes Queen 7. I thought I had 95, but then he just takes the pawn. So I'll just take. I have Bishop G5, maybe. Maybe just Bishop E3. Maybe even just King F1. Or do I. I think actually I want to get my King out of the center of the board, kind of. Ooga, 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 Jack. Ooga, ooga. Ooh, 
I'm just gonna play an end game. I don't like my position, but it's only an, it's only one rook for a bishop. He can't really castle to this way because he gets forked, and if he goes this way, he loses this one. And I'm threatening check. Thank you so much, Mig Dog, for the three months. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Tomorrow is a best of four again. They play four games. Yeah, I know you guys. I'm familiar with Mr. Beast. Okay, let's eat the juicer. Let's go. Uh, let's just go back and target his horses. Can play d5. I can even play rookie one. I can even take. I don't love it. I can also go here, here, but I don't love it. Maybe I go here, here, but I don't love it. Um, I don't seem to love anything. Let's go. This is pretty bad. Let's just go here, I guess. Oh, I knight h7, maybe. Maybe. I guess I'll go c4. I, I really want to activate my pawns here. Oh, wow. I don't have a good move here. Hmm. Um, I know, but I, eh. Knight, knight e6 is a good move. Very, very solid move. So I take, bring the king in. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six against five. Not great, but should be good enough. Um, let's just take and go here and here. Bye, XQC is live. Big shout out to all the XQC uh, former refugees. I, I guess he, the, the man, the man, the myth, the legend, he has returned. So um, yeah, if he's streaming, have fun over there. Uh, again, big shout out to XQC for everything he did for chess as well. Uh, truly amazing. Magnus is not up two to one. They, it was two two, so it's it, it was split. I just take the juicer. Let's go here. Oh, he's been unbanned. Yes, XQC was unbanned. Um, let's go rook b7. I guess I dropped the bishop back here. Uh, that doesn't do anything. My bishop just holds all the glue. I <laughs> lost to jelly beans. Let's take and <laughs> go king b2. Uh, actually, I'll just go here and bishop e3 maybe. And now I, I laterally protect the pawn. And now I just go one, two, three, four, five. This is number one. All my pawns are running, but I think this makes sense just to go here, here, here. And the bishop is like, it's like a true wooden shield. It's just a solid wooden shield. Oh, I just, oh, I blundered. Whoops. Mm. Whoops. Whoops. I still won the game, but that was not good. Go f5 right away. A little bit different, different wrinkle here, but keep keep talking. Hmm. That's just castles. King is a little bit open. He's like, we removed pawns, but my king is out of the center. His king is kind of stuck in the center. Thank you to Tizzy Players for the tier one. Thank you, Tizzy Players. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Let's just go check. His king is very unhappy here. It has to move. He doesn't get the castle. Did I talk about Forsen's ban? No, I did not. Um, I, I, I don't... I mean, I, I know he's banned for showing something on stream. I, to me, it seems a little bit insane because uh, it sounds like it was something that was sent to him and then it was like a debate. But that being said, apparently it's not the first time. So I guess like he's got to do a better job of, uh, of dealing with it. Okay, let's just take. Now, the problem with my opponent's position here is his king is not developed, and that's why you really want a castle, because now his rook's not coming in the game. I'll just drop back and go knight e5. If he goes here, I fork the queen and the, the rook. I'll take, hit the queen. I'm going to fork the queen and the bishop next move. I can also take and... Hmm. Uh, let's just check and take. It's pretty clean. And here, oh, I blundered again. Oy, oy, oy. I'm gonna go for something weird here with King H1. I don't know if this works, but it looks creatively interesting. So if he takes, I get the Pyramid of Giza. And um, if he doesn't take, he goes like Rook F8, I go check. How has he not made it here? This looks really bad for black. I have check, let's go check. Mm 
It goes back. Okay, so now I obviously check. I do the tickle dance. Um, how do I win this? I don't actually see a good way to win. So I'm gonna go queen e6 and maybe rook e5. Maybe just rook d1 also is good. And that's why you want to castle your king because the, the big force is like the queens and the rooks can attack your your king very easily. It becomes very vulnerable as a, as a piece in the game. Um, let's go here and maybe queen c7. I also have knight c6 to come back to e5. Tricky position still. Um, let's go check. I guess I have to do this. I, di I didn't want to do this, but I'll play the end game. I've got rooks on the open lines, which means the rooks are very powerful. Let's go rook d5. Logic posted something on Instagram that may be of interest to you. Yeah, I told you guys. I I I I, uh, I messaged Logic last night. I just didn't. I, I need to reply. Um, let's go here. I'll take and just go like here. Hit the pawn. Maybe rook a six. I've got two active rooks. Just take. Can I check Discord for a friend request from Mr. Beast? One second. Okay, uh, what's going on? He plays knight h5. Um, what does that do? Nothing in particular. I'm gonna go rook d7 here. I play g4, c5. Um, I can also just double stack it, but I don't want to double stack it. I just, I just want to attack it. Uh, or let's go here. Go here. Actually, it's funny you said so, chat. I just heard Eggman in the song, and I just saw there was a friend request on on Discord from Eggman, which is pretty funny. Let's go King G one and Rookie seven. Um, let's go here. Let's just take and let's just take. <laughs> let's go here. Make sure he doesn't get the king in. I'm just gonna go here, here, and Rook C eight, and he, his king is too slow. Because now I'm always going to be able to bring the rook to check him on some square. And then I, I use the pawn on the back rank to win the game. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to play e5, maybe knight c6 next move. A Smith Mora reasonable. I'm gonna just play a gambit here. What lesson I learned in the skilling open? Um, I learned to like trust my openings and just not be afraid of someone's preparation. Okay, so this is a Traxler variation. I don't remember how this line goes. I think it's like you go Bishop G4 and castles is very wild. Um, Thank you, Zach Rax for the Prime. Thank you, Nick for the Prime. Thank you, Real Life Actuary for the eight months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. What are we, 462? Let's try to get 38 more subs, you guys. Let's try to hit 500 on the day. If you guys have Prime, thank you to CowCloud for the Prime. Thank you so much. Speaking of Prime, you guys, if you do have Amazon Prime, make sure to connect it with your Twitch Prime. And you can sub to one channel free every single month on Twitch. Thank you, Jotner, for the three months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Thank you to Striker908 for the Prime. Thank you so much. Again, take money out of out of Jeff's pocket. Lord knows he doesn't need any more. I think Amazon is still like $3,200. 
um, and put money in heart in, in the pockets of hardworking streamers. Let's go bishop g4 next move, maybe c6, maybe king f8, king g8 is also a move. Maybe a half straight for the prime. Oy, 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 this is getting ugly. Oy, 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 this is getting really ugly. I think my opponent's getting checkmated by force. There's no way to stop the fossil. He's just getting fossiled on f3 next move. Oh, is this, oh, is this beautiful or what? Is that not the most beautiful game you've ever seen? You guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So beautiful. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sajope. Thank you for, for the three. Thank you, Zook the Nuke for the four. Thank you to Radical for the uh, Prime. Half for the Prime. Cankle for the Prime. And Study89 with the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go here. Maybe E5 next move. Work? I, I mean, okay, you, you guys can you guys can mock me or whatever, but like it's not easy every day showing up for seven, eight hours. It's not easy. I mean, XU, there's a reason XUC has so many subs. That's because he 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 works his you know what off and he shows up every day for like 10 hours. Um I'm gonna go D3, maybe knight of three here. Thank you to fellow Melly Octopus. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to play h4, just be very bold. Um, actually, it's kind of... Eh, it's a little bit ugly. I don't like my position. Let's go here. It's not easy, though. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys think it's easy, but it's it's not easy. Keeping the energy up, always always having passion, having enthusiasm, it's it's not as easy. People think, oh, it's just super easy, but it's it's not it's not it's not that easy. But yes, I mean it is true that most people with normal jobs they do they do work like what nine to five, so like eight hours times what six days a week normally. I guess actually, do people even get days off anymore or not? Um, go here, night of four. Whoa! Thank you to Nersilis for the five. Thank you to Roboto with the prime and fella Mini, fella Melly Octopus for the prime. Thank you so much, fella Melly Octopus. I wonder what fella Melly means. So yeah, eight hours times five, so like 40 hours, yeah. Okay, this is, I'm just gonna gamble the juicer here. I don't really like my position, but it's playable. Let's go Queenie two. If you work eight hours a day, you're not working eight hours a day. Streamers have to be on nearly the entire time. That's also true, like, you know, there's no lunch break. Like, I mean, I just, I keep streaming. I eat my food during it. Uh, some of these streams I'm playing competitive as well. Like it's, I mean, I'm not saying like it's, it's not like, that it's it's not really enjoyable or fun, but being on all the time is is very difficult. I remember even even when I was playing professionally, like always having to be on and like always have energy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Let's go here and takes. If you aren't miserable, it's not work. <laughs> well, isn't that the isn't that the the mental mental note you have to make in your head, you guys? That basically. Whatever, thank you, Professor Ted, for the 18. That whatever work you're doing, that it's fun. Isn't that like the mental mind trick or something you're supposed to do? Thank you to Bliblid for the three months. Thank you so much. Pick cotton for a living. I actually had a relative on my mom's side who um, he did that. He was, uh, I, think, I don't know if he was picking cotton or he was running a cotton company, but but he was doing that in Alabama back in the 1960s. Um, let's go here. Maybe I take the pawn. It's taking a queen h6. I think F6 rules for the seven. Thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate it. F6 is normally a good move. Normally. Oh, uh, let's play. Okay, this guy's 1910. What gambit can I play? Let's play the North Sea defense. North Sea defense, which is something Magnus has played. You play like Knight H5 and D6, Bishop E2, D6. Uh, Magnus played this in the Olympia Chess Olympics against Michael Adams, I believe, in a tournament, and he got soundly smashed. So it's not a good opening. Because basically you just bring the knight to the rim. As they say, a knight on the rim is grim or dim. I don't know the exact words, but yeah. Why is my rank not going up? Uh, because these players are too low ranked. This is a viewer arena, so I'm not playing. It's not competitive in that kind of way. We're trying to give the viewers a chance to play against me. Okay, let's go here. Kick the bishop. I just take, and I'm going to go knight f4. I'm going to go e4. 
Everything is coming open. Everything is coming through. My op, my operator on g7 is going to hit the pawn on b2. His knight has to jump back. My knight is also coming to f4. My queen is coming in. My operator is great. My knight is great. My queen is great. And there are a lot of problems for white, to sum it up. In this arena, I lost, I think, a very early game to um, to Madman7. I did lose one game early. Uh, let's just go E3 and kick the juicer. <laughs> Drone, stri <laughs> Drone strike in chess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I read an article, chess players burn 10,000 calories every day of playing a tournament. No, that's nonsense. I mean, but it's, pro it's probably quite high. It's probably a few thousand a day, yeah. Let's go here, create the connected chain. I'm going to go here. If he doesn't take the juicer, I create a connect four. And I have a connected pawn that's two squares from the end of the board. So now we win. This op will take the bishop, take the rook on b1. Have I read a regular job? No. Um, I, I I have done quite a bit of community service over the years. Um, I know that's not the same thing, but I, I've done quite a bit of that. He goes free piece. Oh, he's bishop d3, I guess, but it doesn't actually threaten anything. I just run the king over. Let's push. We're one square from the end of the board. Now I go check and I eat the bishop, or maybe not. Maybe I just go here and I've got potential ice skaters looming every which which way. Thank you. It's a Bailey to you for the prime. Thank you so much. It's Bailey. Thank you for the prime. I have not had Baileys in a very, 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 very long time. Let's keep going. Play here i'm gonna play something very extravagant here we're gonna put this horse on f7 this is like the the teeth of some animal i don't know what animal but it's like the teeth with the piece it's maybe like a hippo but it's a it's a weird hippo let's go here uh i'm gonna play f5 and maybe try to attack with f4 e4 i need to sleep because of school tomorrow but that's fun to watch thank you thank you whoa thank you to yamato cannon with the raid with 1099 people thank you so much to yamato cannon appreciate it thank you to um Yerere with the prime and team ramsey with the prime thank you so much you guys are amazing uh big shout out to yamato cannon he let me not get let me not, he's he's dota right I, I sometimes get league and dota confused but i'm pretty sure he's a dota streamer um he has been taking lessons uh chess lessons with um with uh anna rudolph anna chess oh no he's league oh is he no he's league oh i oh my oh oh <laughs> oh it's been a long stream uh, uh oh my gosh let's go here um okay <laughs> oh my gosh sorry you guys uh, it's been a long stream sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um anyway, big shout out to Yamato Cannon. Um sorry about that. Uh um yeah, so, sorry about that. Anyway, he has been also taking lessons from Anna Rudolph, Anna Chess, who's been doing commentary on the Magnus Carlson event. So um so he may he may be one of the upcoming contestants in Pog Champs 3. Who who knows? We'll see. But uh, he's been he's been doing quite a bit of chess. So thank you once again for the raid. We're doing a viewer arena here, so I'm playing against viewers of the stream, primarily not just subs of the channel. So just trying to keep it light, have fun, and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, sorry sorry about that. I'm I'm sorry. Ugh. Now the thing is, my op here is is really good on g7 as it as it, as it angles. Both my ops are really well placed, but but here like the the ops just from distance create a lot of threats. Let's just go back. I want to bring my rook down. Use the op to control the square and hit his queen. Now we take this one. Let's go here. Hit the queen and the bishop. Now I will just take the queen. He'll take my queen, but I take his second op and his pawns. It's one square from queening or making a new queen, but my rook holds a square, so I just win the game pretty cleanly here. 
Which webcam do I use? I use a Sony Alpha um, uh, A7 III, so I'm using an act I'm using a camera as, um, as as a webcam. I think I'm just gonna come back and trade. I just have to be a little bit careful, but his pawns are both blockaded by, and my ops are just gonna gobble both pawns. I think I just take and I take and I take. What headset? These are um, this is a. Uh, um, these are um, uh, G733 Logitech headphones. Now I could take just to, I'm going to take just to show you guys the power of the ops here. So let's go check. Let's go check. Let's go here to eat eat his pawns one one in a row. Did I move my place looks much nicer? I'm actually speaking of league. I'm at the uh, TSM facility here in Playa Vista. So I'm, I'm actually the TSM facility. Let's go Bishop F7 here. Let's just go here. My king is really safe. Look at the two ops. They also control everything from long distance. Just really, really great distance, distance pieces. Let's go here. Yeah, I'm at the 50 million one. Yes, it's the, I'm at that, that facility, yeah. Let's just go here, hit the pawn. If H4, I just go Rook F4. Um, or rookie five, rookie eight. Okay, I take and, and again my king is so safe. The two two ops just keep my king nice and cozy here in the corner. Let's just go check. I'm just gonna come back, and now you will see the ops dominate the queen. Okay, step one. I could have played H. I'll just take it. I don't I don't need to, but again my king is gonna be very cozy here. The two bishops just hold everything. Do I sleep there? No, I don't. I don't sleep here. No. <laughs> Okay, let's go check. I'm gonna move my king up and then bring the bishop. My king remains very comfy here in the corner. Thank you to Odin for the tier one. Thank you so much. Let's go h4. Let's go here. I can now put the op on this square too. And now the this or the rook here, and the bishop holds the rook. I push the pawn. Let's just go here. And now I go check, hit the king. And now I go check, and then I go check mate. And look at the two ops, they just hold everything. Look at these ops, just brilliant. Thank you to Tannic of the Veil for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Again, thank you to this. I think we have, well, I think we have like 7,000 follows today, which is just insane. So thank you so much to everybody for all the follows, the resubs, you guys are incredible. <laughs> okay, let's play. Uh, let's play this. This is the English opening. I'm gonna play an open English. I'm gonna play d5, which actually is like a reverse Sicilian defense. Colors are reverse and so forth. Thank you to Chris Ojaxo for the prime. Let's take. Let's go here. I'm gonna go queen g5 and try to uh, line up some kind of attack. Thank you to Bromine Addict for the prime as well. Thank you so much to Bromine Addict. Thank you so much. Let's go here. And now if he takes with the horse, if he takes this one, then I take his bishop. But I'm also lining up threats against his knight and his pawn. So everything's really, really dangerous for my opponent here. Oh, it's pronounced bro. What did I say? Bromine? Uh, bro yeah, bromine. Sorry. Let's just take the bishop and go over. I can also go this way and keep the line open so he can't castrol his king out of the center of the board here. Okay, does that. I'll take. I'm just going to go... Here, I'm gonna line up more nasty. Let's go check. He can't block, as then I win the horse because his king gets penny, penny pinned. Let's go bishop d3. I'm gonna castle here. I'll go c5. I'm gonna castle. Problem for white is that his bishop is really bad. It's stuck behind. He's got a lot of problems here with the, the bishop because these pawns prevent it from going anywhere. And actually, I can even just trap his knight here. Oh, bromine. Did I say bromine? Bromine, yeah. Let's just take the, take the horse. I'm gonna go here. He can't move the bishop to take, so he goes there, so now I take. And again, the problem with the position is look at this this sad, sad bishop. There's this pawn wall. The bishop can never get into the game. It's just dead forever, because my bishop also holds this square. It's just a dead bishop. The one thing you always wanna be careful of when you have the bishops, or the ops as we like to call them, is not get them stuck behind walls of pawns because then they have no scope. This bishop is no scoping. Like this pawn here is never a threat. It's just it's just dead. 
And now the bishop is permaglued, he can't move it. And now I just drink my coffee, I chill out, and I just come gobble the rest of his pieces because a sad bishop can go nowhere. My bishops, however, are very alive, as you can see. They're, they're very alive. Let's go here. It's going to keep chilling. F6, king e4, maybe. This bishop just is just dead, permanently dead. TSM Wesley when I don't know I mean like I said we'll we'll see we'll see what the future holds but I think certainly the amount of people who are watching these events who are getting into chess um, to me I feel like it really legitimate le legitimizes the idea of chess and esport and um, when you see like the crazy reactions see Magnus cursing you see like you know falling off his chair all these things like I mean what more can you ask for like I mean there there are more there are more emotions being shown in um. In, uh, in in online chess, and I feel like in, in most uh, most um, most esports actually. Let's go here in Bishop B five. Yeah, Magnus just disappeared. Yeah, I know he disappeared. He he fell off. He he just went into a different plane of existence. Let's take and go D three here. I can take, I can all, oh, this is Krikor again. Sorry, this is, so this is a Brazilian streamer, Krikor Mkhitaryan. He streams on YouTube and also Twitch. Um, very, very, uh, very strong chess player. Thanks to chess. Thank you for all the boom. Oh, no worries. Yeah, no chess. It's been great. It's been great to, to watch. My childhood was a lot of chess. Thank you to uh, Billy Goose for the tier one. Thank you to Unbranded for the three months as well. It's just Castrol. Let's go here, maybe 93. I don't have a good position actually. I'm gonna go here to hit the juicer. XQC reacting to me? What is XQC reacting to? Can't they just take a pawn or am I crazy? He has no no way to uh, hit anything. Ah, he wants this so he can go there. I can take, uh, I don't know if it's uh, good. Hmm, let's think. Okay, let's go rookie one. So now, now if he takes a juicer, I can just take the pawn and I'm doing well. If he goes here, I guess I just take with the queen. I don't know if it's great. He's watching Twitch Rewind 2020. Oh, I actually, I haven't, I have not, I haven't checked that out. XUC said a lot of things about me. Let's go here in rook b3. Let's take, I thought I could play here and if it takes, I go check, but he has rook see seven actually what's going on oh that's a terrible move i should have played 93 first oh that was awful truly an awful move i'm gonna be nice to crick and i'm gonna offer him a draw all right i was gonna be nice to crick now now we'll see yeah i'll be i'll be nice i'll, I'll give him a draw that was that was not a great game um Thank you to Chopperino for the prime. Thank you so much to Chopperino. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Minus five rating, yeah, but this is not my main, so it's it's okay. I have a second account because I don't I don't really want to play on my main account when we're we're sort of playing more for fun and having a good time. Um, so that that's that's why this is the second account. Let's go here in D five, maybe. Do I play the Stafford Gambit? I mean, I I have. I have played the Stafford game, but whoa, C4. C4 and E5. This is a, what is this setup? Let's just go here. 2976 smurfing. No, I mean, I just chill. I also make it a point to not play serious hardcore blitz for the most part on this account. Um, I, I actively make make that a point. Thank you to Gruff CS for the prime. Thank you to Gruff CS. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Um, Let's just take. Thank you to Fracture Aim for the tier one. Thank you so much, Fracture Aim. Let's take and go knight c6 here. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just manually cash roll my king here. Let's go here because I don't want to move my knight and let him trade because I want my knight coming out with max pressure on his pawns here with like knight c6 and max pressure. Let's go here, hit them both. Let's go here. Now I'm gonna manually cash on my king. 
or castle, sorry. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hitman, for the prime, or did I just blunder? I just blundered very poorly. Um, let's take... Thank you, Dr. Hitman, again, for the Prime. I think I said that. Sorry for repeating myself. Um, thank you, Dr. Hitman. Do I have my own office? I mean, this is a sort of a streaming studio setup, but kind of. Uh, what's going on here? I might have just blundered. Yeah, let's go here. Oh, I did blunder. Why is every move three seconds, by the way? I had kind of forgotten. Yeah, and now he's gonna move fast, of course. Yeah, yeah. Let's go here. <laughs> I mean, what's the point? Thank you to Orcus for the two months. Thank you to I Play Chess for the Prime. Thank you so much. It's always amusing how the moment someone starts moving really fast and they just start blundering every last move. It's just like, it's so disappointing and disheartening. Of course, I don't know why I did this either. Let's go here. And I guess I take next move. So I go here and take the pawn. <laughs> That's disappointing. Too obvious. Okay, let's, let's play uh, Scandinavian. Maybe just play Bishop F5, E6 next move. I finished fourth in the tournament tied for, I mean, basically third. Jan and I lost our semifinal matches, so essentially third, basically. We just, just uh, both tied. Okay, let's just go back and take. Uh, let's play a5 here and try to open up the center here. Um, let's go C5 here. Oh, sorry. Thank you to, um, thank you to Dylan K for the prime broccoli for the six months. Thank you so much. Um, what am I doing this game? It's actually really quite poor. How am I just losing here? I think I'm actually just lost. How am I just lost here? This is insane.
Somehow I have Queen B8 to keep the game going, but... <laughs> uh, I've forgotten. I'm going to try to move fast and somehow pull this game out. Because if the clock gets low, I'll, I'll have a chance to survive. How do I know when someone's cheating? I, I don't always know, but when you look at the rating and the amount of time they're using on every move and when they're playing like nearly perfect chess, it's kind of, it, it looks pretty bad. Thank you to, to um, thank you to Shucky 3X for two months. Thank you, Shucky, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Okay, let's go A4, uh, fix the weakness. Also, my pawn is, is good here. Of course he finds, I mean, unbelievable. Of course he finds knight D5. Unbelievable. If I move fast, maybe I can trick him. That was a bad pre-move by me, but I'll, I'll get away with it. Yeah, there we go. It's another win. Thank you to Book of the Chook for the two months. Thank you to Calcabear for the nine. Thank you to Fiend for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, let's play the French. Let's play the uh, the the surrender opening. Um, he's going to play this Bishop D3. This is a, a variation that's played sometimes. Let's go Knight D7, C5, Knight C6. Uh, pretty standard. Thank you to Maxime, 726X for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Let's go Queen B6, target the juicer. Again, the, the, he's creating this pawn chain. So he's trying to set up something solid. I'm trying to chip away at it immediately. Let's go Knight takes. Let's take, and let's just go here, maybe. I mean, Queen C7, 97 is a move. Thank you to Brunch Crumbs for the tier for the tier one. Thank you so much to Brunch Crumbs. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Um... Let's just go here, 97, maybe. Thank you to Straffa Resist for the Prime. Thank you so much, Straffa Resist. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to Foxhound for the Prime. Thank you to Z Jack of Spades for the five gifted. Z Jack of Spades. Let's go here, Targets Bishop. He's created weaknesses. Thank you to Mr. Nasal Congestion for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Let's go. Um, let's just go here. Target the pawn. Thank you to Braylog for the Prime as well. Thank you so much, Braylog. Let's go Bishop C5 and trade more pieces. Because he's created, he's got this backwards pawn, which is just backwards because no, no pawns can defend it. No, you just have to wait. Give and take. Thank you to L618 Jeff for the five months. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Or no, just J. Joe. Jo or no, L618 Jeff. Yeah, thank you for the five. Thank you, just Joey for the prime. And hey, Kilroy for the prime. 
For a second, I just confused. I thought that I just misread the whole whole username. Let's go here. Let's let's target his pawns. His king. He's playing like a bond cloud. His king is in the center of the board, and it's really in bad shape. That's a good move. That's a great move, actually. Um, let's go here to target the pawn again. Let's play a game of pawn and take. I'll go check. Hit the king. Hit the juicer. He can't block, so I eat this one with the fork. He goes here. I'll just take the juicer. My favorite game, pawn and take. <laughs> Let's just take and take. If he takes the juicer, I get the fork. So he's got to take and then I take. Uh, TLTL, that's uh, Criari, I believe. Uh, wait a second. Takes. Let's finish this game in the style. I'm going to go check. Let's go check. I can also take this one with check. Are you allowed to chew tobacco during a feeding rated match? Um... I don't know. I don't know of any chess player actually who would like choose tobacco. <laughs> Literally, I can't think of any chess player I know who, who choose tobacco. Is it tobacco like so 1965? Let's go here in D4. Um, <laughs> only asking because I play much better with chew in. <laughs> Doesn't that also like kill your gums or something? Isn't it like really bad health wise or am I crazy? Let's go here, king h7 and, and b6. Oh I, oh, I thought he went to the other square. Oh, no. Okay, this is actually tricky. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, it's probably a draw. Is it, though? Let's see. Oh, I blundered rook g4. That doesn't look right. No, I think he's losing because my king comes up and I. It's a block. It's actually just a draw, huh? Okay, let's go again. Actually, you know what, you guys? I'm gonna take a short break. Um, I'll pop up a game. I'm just gonna take a short break. Let's watch, uh, watch, watch a couple of games, and I'll be right back. All right, let's watch another game. We'll see what's happening in this one. Um, what do we have? We have this game between Jiwaz and Muhammad, Bishop C7. Queen B8 actually is winning here because Rook C8, you go check. He trades. Not ideal, but decent. Thank you to Azuka Guka for the 14 months. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess Queen C6 and Queen B5 is winning. Not much time left in this game. Bum bum bum. I'm not muted, you guys, but thank you for that. Definitely not muted. Um, so, okay, queen f2, the arena ends. All right, so here we go. So here are the standings. I uh, win with 25 wins, one draw, one loss. The, the loss being the Madman, big shout out to Madman. Um, the draw being against Krikor, Mechatarian, the Grand Master. So um, a big shout out to Krikor as well. He's a streamer on YouTube and Twitch, so uh, keep up the good work, man. All right, you guys, I think I am going to call it a day. First of all, big shout out to the mods. I saw Chess Bay Thrashix for the amazing job they did modding. Big shout out to Anna Rudolph and Levy Rosman for their coverage of this Magnus event. 
Big shout out to everybody for the massive support. I think we got like 7,000 followers today. We had like 500 subs, just an all around amazing stream, 40K watching my stream. I think it was like 50 or 60 watching the whole chess category during uh, during this this uh, finals between Magnus and Wesley today. We come back again tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. I'll be doing coverage with Levy tomorrow. And um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you so much to everybody for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. We're gonna send the raid over to Levy for now. And we'll be back tomorrow morning. I'll be doing coverage with Levy at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central European. Have a great rest of your Sunday evening and see you guys tomorrow. Good night.